Well, now that we've created our iBook through iBooks Author, now we're going to preview it on the iPad and kind of get a digital proof of what the book is actually going to look like when somebody buys it, as opposed to just what it looks like on the screen as you're editing it. And to do so, incredibly simple process. You're going to go to the menu bar, and you can see this preview button with a little iPad on top of it. You're going to click that, and you do have to have your iPad plugged in. Um, so it will you'll select your iPad the first time you do your first time you connect to iBooks Author. You'll choose your iPad, and it will prepare the preview for you. This usually takes a few minutes. One one important note I should make um, here is that any book created in iBooks Author can only be read on an iPad. So in other words, there's no way you can uh, anybody will be able to read this on a Nook or on a Kindle or through an EPUB or any of the other e-readers that are out there. So that is a concern and a limitation of the software. Uh, that we should be aware of before we decide to use it to publish your book. Publish your book. And be warned, this is what my iPad screen looks like right now. Updating preview document. It it can take several minutes. I'll just tilt it up so you're not seeing the light. It can take several minutes for uh, the preview document to be updated. Uh, through the connection, depending on how fast your connection is to your computer. So be patient on that one. Set it up there. So my experience is if you keep, if you hit connect, if it shows an inactive connection, just keep keep hitting continue. After several minutes, it will eventually uh, generate the preview.
And there we go. So this is what the book will look like on the iPad. I'm going to try to get the glare, get it so there's no glare on the window uh, on the screen here. As you can see, there's the iPad. There's the book cover we made and holding it sideways, flipping it through. There's our text. There's our video, which you can play. I have, the, I have my, my, my sound muted on my iPad. I can pause it. Flipping through, it's always best if, especially when remember we laid it out in a landscape format, to have it the iPad at, in, in a landscape so you get all the multimedia features. But here is the audio. And play it right through there, and then the slideshow coming up that we did. We just flip through the pictures, just with a swipe. So that's what you can get a good look at the text too. Looks nice and sharp. So that's what an iBooks book looks like in full form on the iPad and of course looking at this proof you'll be able to make changes and eventually publish it to the iBook store through iTunes.